Hey guys, it's Spike with the Bagan Vlogs, and my girlfriend, Meep. Heather. Meep. <laughs> Her name is me. Okay, so we went to... Uh, I'm the horrible girlfriend that nobody likes. So we went to the strawberry... <gasps> no, everyone loves you. Tell Heather how much you love her, guys. Nobody loves me. Not even Spike. I love you so much. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, yes. Keep going. What? What did I do? Nothing. Keep going. So we went to the strawberry festival here in Michigan, and um, we got a bunch of cool stuff. Um, and I thought I would show you guys. Um, and I know I know not many content videos recently, but um, we will. So, um... We? I... Yes, we. Huh? I mostly... Who's we? You and I. Mostly me, but if you feel... You'll get to know me a little bit, too. And yeah, you have good insight, honey. Um, so... First, I want you to look behind me. And do you see the white dream catcher? I put... It says kiss me. <laughs> okay, so the white one. Heather here actually picked that specific one out. I wanted to. Get no, it. he picked me. He the yeah the dream catcher picked her. Do you want it? Does he is he okay with them knowing where I? He's shy. He's shy. You not want? Does he not want me to tell him? No. Don't understand. No. Okay. Well, he wanted to go with uh, with Heather, and he likes us, so um, he's our new friend. And you want to see my new friend? Your new, her new my friend. My new friend is Ross the penguin. No, his name is Rasta. Rasta the penguin. His name is Rasta penguin. Rasta penguin. Oh boy. Okay, now okay. you can continue your thing. Okay. And so we got some incense. One was something that I would like, which is these are hundred sticks here, which is frankincense and myrrh. And one is the lovely, very mature, spiritual choice of Heather here. Kush. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I'm not saying that... Um, it is an herb. It's an herb. and It, it is, is an herb used by a lot of Native Americans. And it is very spiritual. It is very spiritual. Um, I have yet to, um, to partake of such spiritual experiences, but... Do you realize that the peace pipe was originally marijuana? I I don't know a whole lot about that, but... Yes, it was. Okay. So shush. I'm not saying anything bad about... Did I say anything bad about marijuana? Yes. No. Okay, speaking of new friends that we were talking about, I made three little new friends from the, this, um... Elderly lady was selling some little crafts, and um, they they kind of looked like crafts, like a little girl would make. They were so it was sort of it was sort of cute. But oh, do you want to show them the? Uh... I got a turtle. She got a turtle from her. And... I got a little turtle. I used to make these when I was a kid. That's the reason why I wanted this so bad. Did it get kind of messed up in your pocket? A little bit, but he'll be okay. Okay. And then I got a few little, uh, little friends here. Her. They're all girls, right? Her, I think they're all girls. No. And her. What, is he, is he, is this a boy? No. What is, is that a boy? Yes. That's not a boy. You sure it's a boy? Yes. Oh, he told you? Oh. So... That's a boy. So you should apologize to him. Sorry. You know what? It, he, he knows it's okay to be mistaken for a girl because girls are... It's not bad to be a girl. Yes, dear. <laughs> okay. Um, and, you know, one of the first things we noticed uh, at Strawberry Festival was this one Native American place. Um, and she Heather. was Heather. very drawn to it. And it was... It really focused a lot on like Native American, like the political activism of it, sort of like the, um, you know, that still needs to go on, really, because 
of the conditions. And this shirt, I like the front, but I really got it for the back. It says, I will probably be stealing this from him a couple of times. Homeland Security fighting terrorism since, nine, what is it? Since? 1942. No, 1492. That's what I meant. Yeah, I, I, I was being... I'm dyslexic. And I was being, I had a dyslexic moment. Okay. I said 1942 instead of 1492. I have dyslexia. Leave me alone. It's okay, honey. I'm not hating on you. But I really like what it says on the back. And I might even wear it backwards just because I like what it says on the back. Which is, the land was put here for us by the Great Spirit, and we cannot sell it because it does not belong to us. You can count your money and burn it within the knot of a buffalo's head, but only the Great Spirit can count the grains of sand and the blades of grass of these plains. As a present to you, we will give you anything we have that you can take with you, but the land, never. And that's by a black foot chief. So I thought that was a really... She pointed me, it out to me and wanted me to get the shirt, but it was a really... Well, I am shirt. a member of a Blackfoot tribe. Mm -hmm. And so she pointed it out to me, and I figured I, I, I loved the quote on it, so I got it. I also got... Uh, I was a little bit uh, questioning getting this... Um, Homeland Security Fighting Terrorism since 1492 Cotes Freedom Forever CD. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted it at first. Just from the front, it didn't look as much of like a spiritual CD. It, you know, it seems more political than spiritual. But I asked the guy, you know, because he does, uh, he plays uh, pan flute. And I'm like, which of the three, there were four CDs. I'm like, which one would you suggest for uh, like spiritual purpose? And he said, Oh, definitely this one. Uh, it's meditation. Uh, it says golden native instrumental music. And the other ones were more like popular songs, he said. So I figured I would get this. I'm, I'm excited to listen to it if I can find my little, uh, the thing I put the CDs into. So if you can find your adapter. My, yeah, I needed to get an adapter because my phone on the computer is messed up. Um, this is a small thing I got from the same booth. It's, it says cancer because I am a cancer. So, um, oh, honey, mm -hmm. uh, we got some, we got vanilla and jasmine too. By the way, you haven't shown your tattoo on this channel. Um, I will do, I will explain it more in a later video, but you can see it on my forearm right there. And it looks upside down right now. It's not, it, it look, I see what you mean, but it's more of like, they know that it's the right, the right. Well, if I do it like that, but it really looks upside down. They know what it is. Um, and then this is strawberry. Nummy. We have jasmine and vanilla also. Vanilla is currently burning, and it's soy, uh, not candle, but soy wax that we burn and uh, thing. Um, it was mostly, I liked the candles and stuff, but it was her idea. The candles were too expensive. And we also got this. This is my favorite thing of the whole entire day. Besides Rasta. <laughs> I love Rasta. But this right here is something that if I wouldn't have mentioned it, Spike would have walked just right past it. Um, this right here is a 300-year-old Chinese tradition. It symbolizes luck and eternity. It is a grain of rice and oil. And it is... Like you, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to write whatever it is on the grain of sand, or not grain of sand, grain of rice, and put it into a thing of oil. And as long as those words are there on the rice, it's supposed to symbolize luck for whatever is whatever is put onto this grain of rice. And we have mine and his name put on the rice and our anniversary date. What happens if something happens to the words? That's the thing. In the oil, it's not ever going to come off. Uh, so if it does, then that's definitely a bad omen. Exactly. Okay. So there has to be a reason for it. Got it. Um, in the other case, I'm curious if it came off. We got them out. You told us of someone else who got them? Yeah, it actually broke. It broke? Yes. That's interesting. Did it, was it like, was the timing like crazy for it to break or? Mm-hmm. And 
Um, we got different color beads with it. I Mine just, were purple and subtle and small, and he decided to go big. That's just, that's more our personalities. I'm like big, you know, gotta have everything showing, you know. And subtle. And she's more subtle. And I mean, I think that's okay. You know? we don't, I can be all big and showy, and you can be all subtle, as long as it's like, you know, as long as we can respect each other. Yes. Right? Don't you agree? Yes. Okay. So I, but I went for blue and it has sort of like a wavy, you can't really see it, but it kind of looks like a wave. I was thinking like waves. It's very watery and of course that's my element. And why'd you go with purple? For the mystical element or what? Sort of the psychic And also, magical. also purple in the world of love means love at first sight. What would blue mean? Mister or uh, usually either mysterious or forbidden love. That actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, <laughs> considering your mother. Right, and um, just the water emotional part of it, I just felt like it connected for me. Um, did I? Is there anything that I left out? Not that I know. No. Okay. So that's pretty much everything. Um. I, again, I've said that I will do some more content for you guys. Um, you should show them the dream catcher. Close up. Uh, do you want to talk to them about the dream catcher or about something? Um, we original, originally um, kind of walked past the booth a few times, and then we finally went in. And... Um, Spike was over at the Dreamcatchers, and he asked me to pick one out. Any of them were, you know, if any of them were, you know, if I, I liked any of them or if they had any good energy or something like that. I said like Danny, that. Didn't catch your eye, but I figured you'd use your... Right, and he was talking to me, and he just really wanted to come home with me. And it was funny, he kind of almost, like, jumped at... He almost, like, jumped off the rack at me. But, um, yeah, if you see right there, he's actually broken. And, um, he was broken when we went in there and we found him. And he was afraid that he wasn't going to find a home. So he asked me to take him home with him. With me. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be my little friend. I like him. Mm -hmm. And he's sitting there over by the other dream catcher. He might want to come over by our bed soon. Why is that? He says he feels lonely over there. Does the other dream catcher not like him? He's not very nice to him. Why not? I don't. Bad dream catcher. But anyways, guys. Yeah. That's about it. I don't know what else to say in this video. Alright. Well. Thank you guys for watching, and um, I hope you liked it. And again, video is coming, so. Heathers. I'm gonna go take a shower. Alright. Blessed be, guys. Blessed be. Later. Right. Mary Park. Later. Oh. And.